Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this lesson, Brian is going to demonstrate how we escape from the half guard when someone gets the underhook and the cross face. And I'm going to tell you one thing, when I get to this position, the underhook and the cross face, most likely I'm going to pass this person guard. And Brian, today he's going to demonstrate how we can stay calm in that position and put it back to the guard without let the person pass guard. Am I right, Brian? That's correct. But before we do that, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give us the thumbs up. And also, don't forget to hit that bell below because if you don't do that, the YouTube doesn't send you a notification when we upload a new videos to our YouTube channel. All right, everyone, usually when I get this under hook, the cross face, I connect my grips. The way I'm doing so, I'm going to put a lot of pressure on my partner's neck and make my part open up, plant the seeds of doubts on my partner's mind, water it by applying the pressure, and I'll be able to either get to the mouth position or I'll get to the knee slice. All right, guys, so here I'm trapped in my opponent's cross face. And uh, if you've ever been in this position, obviously you know, especially with Cobra, this is one of the worst positions in the world to be in. And uh, there's a lot of pressure here. So in order to help yourself kind of survive here and uh, relieve some of the pressure, I'm going to make a hook with my hand. It's a really big fish hook. I want to get it as deep in as possible inside my opponent's shoulder or upper arm right here. And then I'm going to relieve the pressure by stapling my elbow down to my abdomen using a little bit of strength, but not really strength, I'm more kind of contracting my muscles so that uh, the, pre the pressure is relieved. So now I can breathe a little bit, all right? My neck is still resting on my opponent's forearm. And in order to, uh, again, preemptively uh, prepare myself for more pressure, I'm going to swim my hand underneath my opponent's throat and make a little frame right in front of his throat right here. If I don't have that, guys, my opponent still has uh, the free ability to continue to drive pressure, perhaps even using my own hand here stuck in the middle against me, and that is no good. So I'm going to wave my hand in, get a nice little frame right here, and then now we can start to commence the actual escape on the half guard. Guys, from here on the half guard, you have to try to be aware of what the opponent is doing with his feet. Over here, Cobrinha is not locking his feet. His feet are just planted on the floor. And if you need some help figuring out what your opponent is doing, sometimes you can literally just take your feet and feel if the lock is open. So I felt my opponent's ankle right here. I don't feel any connecting legs. So I feel that the lock is still open here. So now to start to uh, commence the escape, I'm going to, again, same sort of concept from earlier videos where I post my foot on the floor and I'm going to drive off the floor to lift my hips up into the air and exit my pelvis outwards into the open area right over here where my leg is waving. Guys, if you do not do this, you're still going to be trapped on the flat of your back. So, again, plant the foot, lift your hips up, and do a small shrimp, just a small one, just to get your hips facing towards the opponent in this direction. Once you make that happen, you're going to take this hook right here and make a hook right here on the inside of the guy's thigh. The reason why you guys do this 
is because if I just go here to grab my opponent's leg, my opponent can actually go straight to the mount. He can cut his shin right over my body and go straight to the mount, and now I, I am in even worse shape. So to prevent myself from uh, getting into, fur into worse positions, I'm going to take this butterfly hook right here, and I'm just going to cap the top of Cobrinha's leg so that he cannot further go onto the mount. So now his leg is effectively trapped just between my legs, and I can control it how I want. Guys, if you see this hand right here, I'm already grabbing Kubrinya's leg right here to prevent it from happening. And the reason why I do this is because if I let it go and I just let it happen, Kubrinya can now still post his hands on the mat and also use this hook, use this leg as a hook, to try to free his leg right here and go to the mount again. He can go to the mount. He can slide right over my body and he can go to the mount. So guys, there's a lot of details here, but pretty much you're trying to prevent uh, a smart opponent like Cobrinha from going to the mount position while you're trying to escape the half guard. So here, make a hook, prevent this leg from moving. Now grab, prevent that leg from moving. And then now I'm going to undo my uh, lock, my, my little squeezing lock here. I'm not actually locking, but I'm kind of squeezing with my legs. I want to undo that, connect my foot to the floor to be able to lift Cobrinha up. And then guys, if you remember this uh, frame here that I have on Cobrinha's neck, I'm going to use it to kind of push him away. It's going to be a great deterrent to bring his weight off of me. So from here, I'm going to connect my foot to the mat, lift my opponent up, see how his weight is up above me. And I'm actually talking very comfortably. Cobrinha's balanced, perched above me. I'm going to collect his outside leg with my outside leg. And I'm just going to softly Reverse the position. I'm going to place my weight on top of my opponent. You can even just post your uh, your forehead to the mat. Grab the opponent's elbow so that he can't push this leg back into the half guard like so. If I do let that happen, I just post and I don't collect his arm. He can just go ahead and collect me back into the half guard position. So I'm going to get his tricep, climb my knee up, and then now we're in a great position. To return the favor. Action. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for watching our channel. And also, thank you, Brian, very much for showing those details to take our game, my game, and your game who are watching us to the next level. Thank you, Brian. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys remember the details about protecting yourself at all times when you're in, in positions where uh, you feel like you're in danger. Try not to give up. Think about surviving and always think about protecting the submission. Surviving first and then getting out.